Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm the captain of the division and this is my Let's Play channel. If you guys are new here, hit that like button and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at the division 454 uh, Today's video, we're going to go over green screen. The materials I use, where I purchased mine, setting it up on the wall, and how to set it up on the green screen uh, using OBS. All right. So why would you need a green screen? Well, uh, I do live streams and I want to make my video camera in front of the gameplay so people can see my reaction uh, and the game as well. And you can see I have it green, I have it chroma keyed or green screened out right now. And this is what it would look like without the green screen effect or the chroma key effect in OBS. All right, where I purchase mine and what materials I use. Okay. I, I purchase all my materials from Walmart. Um, I do that because I know what I'm looking for. And what you're looking for is something green. And Walmart has a lot of good green, cheap stuff. Poster board. Okay. This is what I used first. Uh, it's very cheap. I got it for about 64 cents uh, a piece. You can use it. Um, I gradually switched over to green cloth. It was easier to um, fill up a surface like a wall in just one continuous piece. Uh, poster board, uh, you're probably going to have to purchase five to ten panels if you want to do a whole wall. It may cost you about five bucks. I also paid five bucks for the whole green screen cloth behind me. So um, you can give or take green screen panels. You can move them around, take them apart, and kind of get a tight fit cloth same thing uh, but if you cut a piece of cloth off you can't combine it back unless you tack it and um, you don't want to have too many tacks on there because it may pop up on the green screen so the green screen behind me is just a cloth one continuous piece um, and I'll show that to you in a second but green screen poster board is great or green cloth from Walmart both are relatively cheap I paid between total with tax and all five to ten dollars um, if you want to do the poster board route or if you want to use the green cloth route five to ten bucks and you got a fully functioning green screen okay let's put that back down let's go to the next step so now that you got your cloth or your poster board um, I'm using cloth right now uh, you want to set it up on the wall very simple okay you take your tack you put it on the wall um, you want to have an eye on your video camera of your border of your video camera so right now you can see I'm looking down on my computer screen because I want to know the border of where the camera hits you want to do just a little bit above okay and in both clips here I'm looking down I'm pulling the cloth apart and I'm just using a tack which I bought from Walmart um, a pack could cost you maybe a dollar to two dollar like a 20 piece um, count set and very simple just tack it on the wall and uh, you're ready to go okay now that you have it on the wall uh, we need to set it up on OBS very simple open up your OBS studio or OBS Streamlabs and we'll get started first you want to hit the plus sign right there it's going to add a source uh, green screen on OBS can affect everything so all your sources can have green screen effect on it so I want to add a video capture device which is this right here the video camera uh, you want to go ahead and hit add source so once you add your source into OBS and then we can affect uh, then we can add the filter effect to it the green screen so once you hit add source and you rename it whatever you want I uh, added testing but I think I renamed it to video capture device uh, but remember hit the plus button first okay let's go to the next step okay now that you're here um, and you got your video capture device on your OBS you want to right click go to filter right click go to filter okay it's gonna pop this up here you're gonna to want to hit that plus button on the far left side okay you're gonna hit the plus button 
it's going to pop up a list of different filters you can add to uh, your desired source. What you want to do is scroll down until you see chroma key, select, go to done. Now you can also rename it as well. I think here I named it a green screen my dude. Whatever you want to name it. Click done. Okay. All right, let's go to the next step. Once you're there and you added your green screen chroma key, you're going to see um, some sliding bar stuff here. One similarity, one smoothness. Those are the two things I recommend you only touch uh, in this. Similarity is a, think of it as your, um, your biggest margin tool for the green screen. The higher up you go, the more it's going to change the effect of the background uh, compared to other colors. The smoothness, very small amounts of movement will change a big area of it. So don't make your smoothness the same as your similarity. You're going to see right here, I just turned into a ghost. You want to go back all the way uh, closer to one would be great. So if you can make your similarity as close as you can to being good, and then your smoothness, you want to just move it maybe by a few. Okay, and you can see there um, I used... 466 smoothness you can see it looks great 466 and I used 66 smoothness okay let's go to the next one let me pull up my video camera so you can see now green screen you can, I use OBS for everything. So the ability to remove the background of your video camera and to um, green screen out that you can add, you can add whatever you want behind you. Like right now, I got a volcano going behind me and it's not affecting the video camera. So you can, you, you can see right here over my shoulder, it's not affecting the video camera. Now, if I was to, turn off the filter there you go you, and you can clearly see this is all the green screen behind me here turn the green screen back on and it removes it pretty good now lighting does affect how the green screen reacts uh, to everything so you want to have one good light source maybe from two angles maybe to uh, stop the shadows from one side and the other side I uh, use a corner side of my room so right behind me is like a 90 degree angle on the wall so the light is going to be hitting both sides differently and you may want to consider a, a good light source before you do that and also if you have uh, your recording program up like I do now and then you open up a file to look at the brightness from that file that you're going to be looking at may disrupt your current green screen effects. You may need to change your smoothness and similarity. So what I recommend is whatever, however you're going to keep your screen at with all your programs up, that's how you change your green screen. Okay, especially if you're live streaming a video game or if you're making a video and you're reading a script or whatever, uh, you may want to have everything up first because that brightness of the screen now will disrupt the green screen behind you. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial. And let me go over the steps really quickly again. Okay, so the materials I use, green cloth from Walmart, okay? Green poster board, all between five to $10 max. You're not gonna spend any more than 10 bucks on that starting out, okay? There are higher quality green screens out there, but no need when you're starting out on YouTube, okay? Um, Walmart. Okay, green cloth, poster board. Okay, set it on the wall, use tacks. They cost about a dollar to two dollars. You can get like a, a pack of 20. Okay, set it up on OBS. Make sure you add your source, uh, filter, add uh, the chroma key, name it whatever you want, change the smoothness and similarity. If you guys enjoyed this, hit that like button and subscribe and follow me on Twitter uh, for any other notifications. Have a great day.